to Pastor Amenda, Corland, 1801. Does Amenda think that I can ever forget him because I do not write? In fact, never have written to him? As if the memory of our friends could only thus be preserved. The best man I ever knew has a thousand times recurred to my thoughts. Two persons alone once possessed my whole love, one of whom still lives, and you are now the third. How can my remembrance of you ever fade? You will shortly receive a long letter about my present circumstances and all that can interest you. Beethoven. I received and read your last letter with mingled pain and pleasure. To what can I compare your fidelity and devotion to me? Ah, it is indeed delightful that you still continue to love me so well. I know how to prize you and to distinguish you from all others. You are not like my Vienna friends. No, you are one of those whom the soil of my fatherland is wont to bring forth. How often I wish that you were with me for your Beethoven is very unhappy. You must know that one of my most precious faculties, that of hearing, is become very defective. Even while you were still with me, I felt indications of this, though I said nothing. But it is now much worse. Whether I shall ever be cured remains to be seen. I hope indeed that my hearing may improve, but I scarcely think so. For attacks of this kind are the most incurable of all. How sad my life must now be, forced to shun all that is most dear and precious to me. Oh, how happy I should now be had I my full sense of hearing. I would then hasten to you, whereas as it is, I must withdraw from everything. My best years will thus pass away without effecting what my talents and powers might have enabled me to perform. How melancholy is the resignation in which I must take refuge. I had determined to rise superior to all this, but how is it possible? In the course of six months, if my malady be pronounced incurable, then, Amenda, I shall appeal to you to leave all else and come to me. You must be my companion. You will not, I know, refuse my petition. You will help your friend to bear his burden and his calamity. I beg you will keep the fact of my deafness a profound secret and not confide it to any human being. Write to me frequently. Your letters, however short, console and cheer me, so I shall soon hope to hear from you. You're faithful and truly attached. 
LV Beethoven.